Today I'm going to explain another straight line questions. Okay, this is one of the sample of the past year question. So I really hope this question can help you understand more about straight line. Okay. So before we start to do we let's have a look on this diagram. Okay, you will see the y acid, x acid and you see a rectangle here okay F from here actually we will have a, we can see four coordinate okay so st start from the questions so the question say in the diagram OSTU OSTU is a paral uh, parallelogram and O is the origins okay first you have to understand what is the meaning for parallelogram. Parallelogram will mean that this line will parallel with this line and this line will parallel with this line. Means what? OS will parallel with UT and ST will parallel with OU. So I just do a remark here. Means this OS will parallel with TU and ST will parallel with OU okay and parallel in straight line will always mean they have the same gradients okay so i do a quick remark here since they are parallel so what i know is the gradient for st will seem with the gradient for ou okay i will use m to represent gradients here okay and then the for the gradient for os will same with the gradient for t tu okay means this gradient will same with this gradient and this gradient will same with this gradient because they are parallel okay because of they are parallel okay okay then what the question one is okay equation of the straight line ut okay he want to find equation of the straight line ut in order to find equation we need two things first we need to know what is the gradient second we need to have one coordinate on the straight line so obviously we only got one coordinate here we cannot get gradients so since they are parallel so i can find the gradient for os and then after i have the gradient okay then i can use use as a coordinate to get c okay for the straight line i hope you guys still remember straight line formula is y equal to mx plus c always remember this formula it will be very useful for straight line and then for the formula for gradient will equal to gradient will equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so if you use this formula make sure you have two coordinates so let's find the gradient for os first okay so gradient for os will equal to we got two coordinates okay always remember the origins will have one coordinate names zero zero okay because most of the time he he won't give you the coordinate for origins so you have to know origin actually have the coordinate zero 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 for x and zero for y therefore we just substitute the coordinate here so maybe or use 10 minus zero divided by 5 minus 0 okay this one minus 0 okay this one is x and this one is y therefore we will got 10 over 5 10 over 5 after simplified we will got got 2 means the gradient is for os is 2 okay since they are parallel means gradient for os will same with the gradient for tu now we have to find the equation for tu so equation for tu okay means okay now i got that one so i substitute 
y equal to mx plus c m is 2 2x plus c okay means the gradient for tu is 2 okay at one point well, then you have to look for one coordinate on the straight line tu which is u at u 4 and negative 4 okay after you got this coordinate you just substitute it into this equation you can get c so i substitute y will equal to negative 4 so negative 4 will equal to 2x x here will equal to 4 okay plus c so obviously this one will be you will get 8 so negative 4 will equal to 8 plus c therefore c will equal to uh, 8 move to the other side is negative 8 negative 8 minus 4 we got negative 12 so therefore we can rewrite the equation for ut is y equal to 2x minus 12 this is the equation for ut okay then we done the first part a okay then we go to the second part okay what they want for the second part is y intercept of st okay in order to find y intercept of the st we need to have the gradient for we need to have the gradient for st but then we, we do not know the t coordinate so we can use OT, OUs to find the gradient for ST because they are parallel therefore okay I find the gradient for OU OU seems I use Y1 minus y, uh, Y2 minus Y1 divided by X1 minus X2 minus X1 so I got negative 4 minus 0 divided by 4 minus 0 therefore neg negative 4 divided by 4 I got negative 1 okay since they are parallel so gra gradient for st is also negative 1 okay so I just substitute uh, to the formula y equal to mx plus c so for equation or equation of equation of st okay y equal to negative 1x plus c and then i have to substitute one point on the straight line st which is s coordinate so i just write at s which is 5 and 10 so i substitute x and y into this equation then i can get c so now y equal to 10 so 10 will equal to negative 1 x is 5 means multiple 5 plus c therefore i got here is 10 equal to 10 equal to negative 5 plus c so negative 5 move to the other side we will get plus 5 so 10 plus 5 actually is 15 equal to c okay and you have to understand actually c will always mean y in the set okay c will always mean y in the set therefore we part b asks us to find y in the set of the straight line st this equation or ft so this is the y intercept for st so we just write part b okay okay this is already part b so here right answer therefore y intercept you just copy the whole sentence from the question y intercept of st is 15. that's all for this question hope you really can learn from this question thank you